Hi, my name is Dana Beck. Welcome to my YouTube video. And today, what I'm going to be sharing with you is step number seven. Step number seven out of the Ultimate Guide to Email Copywriting 11 Tips to Instantly Boost Your Email Results. So, what is step number seven? Well, step number seven, as I like to call it, make them laugh. <laughs> you know, everyone loves to laugh. And I, I can't help but to uh, think of a movie, maybe some of you have seen it, Singing in the Rain, when Donald O'Connor did his routine, you know, his, his song and dance routine, Make Him Laugh. If you've never seen it before, go on YouTube and, and check it out. It's a pretty funny routine. But, you know, the whole, the whole point behind his song was, you know, that's what people like. People like to laugh. Make them laugh. It's a great, again, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, uh, presentation or, or, or skit, I guess, by Donald O'Connor. It's pretty funny. It's from the movie um, Singing in the Rain. But anyway, you know, um, everyone loves to laugh. Everybody likes to chuckle. Everyone likes to, you know, be entertained, I guess, for lack of a better term. You know, it connects us as humans. You know, and it, it makes your emails more memorable when they can get a chuckle, when they find some humor in your email. You know, you don't have to be the next Robin Williams or Rodney Dangerfield, as I used to, that I used to like. Um, but the odd giggle never goes astray when you are trying to bond with your list, with your readers, with your subscribers. And the important thing to remember about humor in email marketing is to use it sparingly uh, and strategically. You don't want your email to be full of, of, of humor because no one's going to take you seriously. And you don't want to come across silly or like a buffoon. No, no, yeah. that's not what I'm talking about. But using humor wisely and peppering it throughout your email. You know, and again, you don't want to come across as a wannabe comedian, but you do want to be funny. And, you know, if it's going to help grab the reader's attention uh, and make, you know, make a point, you know, with imagination, with, you know, creativity. Um, you know, and now you can you can use absurd exaggerations, um, you know, like, like my house is so small or my cat is so lazy. You know, or uh, or ironic observations of which Rodney Dangerfield, you know, he was a master. You know, I get no respect. Um, but um, you know, incorporating that into your email body, into your content of your email, will definitely get your reader's attention. You know, bizarre as it may sound, you know, the world of comedy, um, you know, they use words with with the case on, and they're deemed funnier than others. Uh, playwright Neil Simon, and I quote, he wrote in his 1972 play, The Sunshine Boys, quote, 57 years in this business, you learn a few things. You know what words are funny and which words are not funny. Alka-Seltzer is funny. You say Alka-Seltzer, you get a laugh. Words with K in them are funny. Casey Stengel, or the K sound, Casey Stengel, that's a funny name. Robert Taylor is not funny. So again, Try sprinkling a few of these, you know, humor keys, if you please, or humor tips uh, in your next email to see if it tickles the funny bone of your of your readers, of your subscribers, of your, you know, um, of your potential subscribers and whatnot. So go ahead and, and you know, try this technique. Uh, I've used it on occasion and it, you know, it has come back um, very, very successfully. So again, try humor in your email. Again, don't overdo it and, and don't come across being silly or absurd or, you know, like a buffoon. Use it tastefully and, again, pepper it through your email. You don't want your entire email to be nothing but like one long, you know, joke. But again, use humor sparingly, but um, when you do, it will have an effect and, and your readers will thank you for it. So... That's a little bit on that, and that's step number seven. Make them laugh in the, in the uh, ultimate guide to email marketing, um, 11 tips to instantly boost your email results. And this is, again, number seven, make them laugh. So if you got value out of this, please leave a comment. I really do enjoy reading your comments. And if you found value in this, please, by all means, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see a, a button down below, down below here somewhere be able to subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe and and uh, and I will be covering in my next video step number, do you see that? Eight. There we go. Step number eight. <laughs> step number eight. 
um, in my next video and on the 11 tips to instantly boost your email results. And um, so look forward to my next video. And, you know, if you did, again, if you did find value in this and you'd like to, you know, learn more, uh, here's a site I want to share with you. Now, this, this is not, again, now, as I've said this before, this is not an MLM. It's uh, not an income opportunity. It is not a bait and switch. It is not a website where you can download software, put it on autopilot and sit back and watch your money come rolling. And no, it's none of those things. This is a training center. This is a training hub, a learning center for entrepreneurs. And, you know, it will give you all the insight, all the strategies, all the tools, everything you need to become the absolute best entrepreneur you possibly can be. And this link here, this will be a hyperlink uh, below the video as well. So go ahead, check it out. I think you'll find it very, very useful, a definite, a definite go-to site. And, uh, you know, again, where, you know, you can learn how to get all the skills that you need to be the best entrepreneur you possibly can be. So thank you so very, very much for watching. Go ahead and uh, click on the subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much and you take care now. Bye bye.